Hi, good morning. So I am currently at the airport. I just got water at Starbucks because we love finessing free water and I really like how their water tastes. Hi, good morning. But um, I am about to go to New York and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to like vlog, but um, I'm doing a lot of eye hair stuff. So this is really just gonna be like a vlog of me screaming. But um, you know, if you don't hear me scream, like just stop watching now, but um, yeah, I just, like, I wish that I would have vlogged the first time that I was in New York, because it was just very, you know, happy, really enjoyed that. Um, like, I'm going to Z100 again, and the iHeart headquarters, so I just want to, you know, like, this is in no way, shape, or form going to be, like, that great of a vlog, but I'm just, I'm going to post it. Anyways, well, we'll hope that I'll get around to posting it. First, I have to actually, like, vlog, but um, we'll see. We'll see. So... I'm about to board the flight. I'm making my mom go with me because nobody else would go with me. And she was like, well, I don't want you to go to New York by yourself like you're 17. I was like, okay, I guess that's understandable. So she's going with me, but I'm really excited. And as soon as we land, we're going to the headquarters. And I'm really excited. So um, yeah, stay tuned for me screaming for the next um, like five minutes or however long this vlog is. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. It's been waiting for you. So we just landed in New York and we we're gonna take a super shuttle to the headquarters and our guy was sleeping and now he's just wandering and he was like, oh it's gonna be a minute. Like maybe if you weren't taking a nap then it wouldn't be a minute, but um Okay, we ended up getting an Uber to save us, but we are currently right next to the headquarters and I'm gonna be myself, you know? got up to the high heart floor. Hi, I'm uh, currently at I heart, um, waiting to meet the president who's taking his two minutes in between meetings to meet me and I am about to lose it. Um, stay tuned. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yeah, I've seen you online. <laughs> well, we should hire you. I, I literally agree so much. <laughs> Hi, so we're at our hotel. First of all, we made it here. That's an improvement of um, just in general because we took the subway. Second of all, I want to projectile vomit because the president of iHeart. I'm an idiot. I keep getting his title wrong. He's not the president of the whole company. He is the president of the National Programming Group, which is still just as important to me. But yeah, I'm just, just have to correct myself because I am a dumbass. Took time out of his meeting that he probably didn't want to go to anyways to meet me. Like for like two and a half minutes. That was, that was 30 seconds more than he, than he said he was going to talk to me for. Um, and he said that we should hire me, and I personally agree. And then he asked me if I had a resume, and I was like, um, well, I'm kind of just a walking resume, but no, I definitely don't. And then he got my contact information, and I just, I am spontaneously combusting, and I still cannot breathe, and I don't know if it's because my skirt is too tight or a mixture of both, but, um, now we're about to go to Z100, and I... Don't know how I'm gonna survive both of these activities in one day. Uh, the answer is I'm not. So I can't wait to go and like tell them that I'm there um, like half an hour early once again and then they make me sit and wait in a Starbucks for half an hour once again and then I count down the seconds till when we can go upstairs. And then tomorrow I get to try and meet Elvis. So hi, um, I'm gonna spontaneously combust and die. That's just, yeah, that's all, all anybody needs to know at this point, really. Um, I just got a call from the president's assistant and um, I'm meeting Elvis Duran tomorrow and <laughs> she said that this was the reaction she was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I am not, <laughs> I'm not gonna make it, <laughs> I'm not gonna make it, I just spit pizza out of my mouth, I got a phone call from New York and I said, oh my god. <laughs> I'm meeting Elvis first of all, 
I've collected my thoughts. No, I have not. But, um, I'm meeting Elvis, and I'm currently, I just got to Z100, and they're gonna look at me like I'm on crack again. <laughs> oh my god, I'm meeting Elvis tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. I'm never gonna be so happy to be awake at 8.30 in the morning. Oh my god. We're currently waiting for Maxwell, and I feel really bad because... I'm literally in New York specifically to see him and like now I'm crying because I'm meeting Elvis Duran and I'm gonna need to get new eyelashes because these are gonna be busted after tomorrow and I can't believe that they're still on and oh my god I literally my brain does not know how to comprehend this and I'm gonna start crying again so um, I'm gonna go but like this song or do you mean a sheet this is how I can't back together okay it's Normani and Sam Smith and Normani dancing with the strangers okay so at some point I'm gonna have you say like uh you know, uh, you ready to bring in the number one song? And I'm like, all right, yeah, you know, whatever. And then I'm go for it. And I'm just going to dance it and then you do whatever you want to do. All right? Okay. All right, you think you're ready for this? All right, we'll record it. You got this. Okay. So this is really cool because normally I'm asking for you all to be my guest DJ to bring in the number one song, but I had someone fly in all the way from Dallas, Texas to do Yes. <laughs> What's up, Olivia? Welcome to the studio. Man. Hi, thank you. So wait, first off... Um, You've been here before. And I have. We got to kick it, but I'm hearing that tomorrow you get to meet someone even more special. I do. I get to meet Elvis Duran tomorrow morning. Put your hand out. Are you nervous? I'm so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Listen, don't worry. Give him a big old hug. Maybe pet Max. Not, not me. No. <laughs> Talk about Max Duran the puppy if he's running around tomorrow, okay? I hope I hope he is. I would love to pet him for you. Yeah, dude, please. Yeah, man. And tell him, by the way, thanks for stealing my name. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I mean, I mean that's an honor, honor, but. <laughs> you are going to bring in the number one song in the tri state area. You ready for this? I am. You think so? I think so. The nipples coming out, she's smiling big. <laughs> All right, number one song, go for it, superstar. It's Dancing with a Stranger oh, by no, Sam no, Smith and Normani. No, the number one song on Z100 is, give me some energy, you got it. One okay, more time, go. Okay, the number one song on Z100 is Dancing with a Stranger by Sam Smith and Normani. That's better, that's better. That's perfect. That is awesome. That is so rad. Um, anyways, I have been wanting to meet Elvis for two years. Insert video of me trying to meet him, plus... A picture of my 16th birthday cake and like all the other tweets that I've been trying to meet him for like the past two years so just like insert those here mm -hmm. um and like I'm finally meeting him and I don't really know what to do with that information but like yeah so I have to scream about it and I've been screaming on Twitter and everybody is currently unfollowing me questioning why they followed me in the first place um me too but I mean, this is normal. They named me Radio Crazy Girl for a reason, so hi, nice to meet you. I'm meeting Elvis tomorrow. This was really rambly, and I really should probably go to bed, but, like, I'm meeting Elvis tomorrow, and that's the best news I've ever heard in my whole entire life, and I am going to sob. So, um, d just don't keep watching. Just, like, <laughs> like, I don't know why you'd want to at this point, but, like, so... Yeah, say hi, Radio Crazy Girl. Are you Radio Crazy Girl? Why do they call you crazy? Why is she crazy? <laughs> she wants to go on radio. Howdy, Elvis! I'm Matthew. And I'm Olivia, a.k.a. Radio Crazy Girl. And we're coming to this year's Z100 Jingle Ball! The lineup is the best ever! Taylor Swift is gonna be there! Maxwell too! Oh, and... Elvis Duran! Here's the deal. We're coming all the way from Texas for this. McKinney, to be exact. And we want to meet you, Elvis! Hold up! I already met Elvis last year at the Today Show. Okay, and I sat in his chair earlier this year, but I still want to meet him. Okay, and I can't deny, I want to say more than just hi to him, and I'd love to show him my new hairstyle. So we would love to meet you at Jingle Ball. We, we hope to see, see you there! Good morning. Um, I just woke up and I'm meeting Elvis today. Um, yeah, I don't still don't know 
what to do or how to process that information, but, you know, like, it's happening. I'm gonna cry a lot, so I don't even know why I'm about to, like, put makeup on, but I also look like I haven't slept, so, you know, kind of have to, but I'm so excited. Okay, um, so I'm, like, ready, and I have a sweater and jeans that I literally wear every single time I come to New York, but Elvis's people are already texting me, and I'm... I, like it's like an hour away and I'm going to lose it so um yeah that's yeah I'm gonna lose it that's it <laughs> so we walked into this market just to get drinks and we saw cakes and we were like oh my god we should get Elvis a follow-up cake because I you know my 16th birthday cake was like Elvis meet me in New York so now we're getting somebody to ride on a cake for me and I'm gonna bring it to him he first of all is never gonna invite me back um, that's for sure second of all we're putting Elvis thanks for meeting me in New York insert picture of my first cake here um, I hope he remembers the first cake because if he doesn't that's <laughs> he's gonna think I'm a crack at, like I'm gonna be crying what if I drop the cake <laughs> I can't do this I'm here I'm in the lobby I'm about to meet Elvis I have a whole cake Oh my god, I'm gonna start crying before I even get up there. Oh, he's gonna send me away. He just left. Like, he just left the building. He was like, like, if he's actually up there whenever I'm up there, I'm gonna be genuinely surprised. Okay, I have three minutes. I'm literally, oh my god, I am so nervous. First of all, we're standing here with a cake. Second of all, I'm already shaking. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Now, I heard rumor that you are traveling around the country going to you're not crying on their shows are you <laughs> no it's just you <laughs> I got you. I have <laughs> no, I'm not people cry. so Aww. so obviously you're a radio enthusiast i am and is this what you want to do it is yes is that your mom it is mom, yeah I'm tell mom. her to run for her life <laughs> i get told that a lot no really so so you grew up listening to radio like me you were yeah you were just kind of turned on by radio at an early age yeah definitely and what was it? What is it about radio that you love so much? I don't just the whole environment of it and all of the people and just I don't know. I just have such a passion for it. Can I tell you something about what you just said? The environment and the people. Yeah. You're very intuitive, because this is why we show up every day because we just love each other so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you're doing like an afternoon show and you're in a room by yourself. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't handle that. Yeah, don't do that. I used to do that. I'm like, oh, I, I can't be with myself that long. <laughs> mm. So your name is Olivia? Yes. Where are you from? Dallas. Oh, I was born and raised in Dallas. I, I do know that. Well, oh, that's oh. creepy. <laughs> cool so you grew up listening uh, to the radio there and you're like i want to do that yeah and so listen to what olivia is doing rather than sitting there and going i want to do that she's traveling to radio stations to this is how you're going to do it yeah it is so is it true you were at our iheart radio corporate offices uptown yesterday yes i was yeah that's where all our money goes yeah right you, you can beautiful, tell beautiful yeah. place <laughs> yes it is a really you beautiful that, place that hallway and everything mm -hmm. i did so, yeah, I heard from Tom Pullman, who was the, he does something for that company, he runs something. Oh, well, you know, just, just the whole company or exactly. something. Yeah, well, he thinks he's my boss, but I tell him what to do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, kidding. Uh, they said you were very, very fun, and you were great, and they said, like, you, you got to have her in on your show. I'm like, okay, fine. So here you are. That's wonderful to hear. Okay, now, you know, th this, is a, this is a show that has about like 10 million people listening, but you knew that. It generates... Yeah hundreds of millions of dollars a year for the company. Mm -hmm. What if we just walked out and left you here alone to do the show? Uh -oh, Are you ready God. for that? No. <laughs> As you can tell by the tears, no, no not today. I, I, think, I think there's a radio show there. Yeah. Let's, tur let's turn on the crying girl. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it, really, it really is a great job. Thank you can dress you. like this. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're way overdressed. So how many, I'm glad to hear that. How many, uh, Olivia, how many uh, different radio stations have you visited this, this tour? This two are just in like New York or just over the past couple of years? Okay, but let's do the past couple of years. Probably about a dozen. That's not enough. No. I know, I agree. How do you get in? Like, how do you convince people to let you come up here? I just send them emails or direct messages, and I'm like, hi, my name is Radio Crazy Girl. I really want to work for iHeart. Can I come get a tour? And, and that most, works? Yeah, most people just reply, and they're like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, you have the wow. word crazy in your hand. I know. Yeah. 
Didn't I see a picture of you with Elvis's gold mic? Weren't you up here once yes. before? Yes. How did you get up here? Man, what are you doing sitting well, in my chair? I know Maxwell. <laughs> oh, you have to get in. Maxwell does, uh, he does the night show. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so you sat here and on the microphone? I did. That's cool. You know, usually we have people fired that do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't work here, so you're yeah, safe. Yeah, I haven't even got fired lot, so it's okay. <laughs> you're okay, you're okay. I think that's so cool. I mean, if you have something you're so passionate about. Okay, radio, no, no radio. Give me another one. Uh, car, animals. It's animals. Yes. Selling llamas, Subarus. Okay. <laughs> you want to? You travel around the country. You visit every Subaru dealership you can find, and you know, get to know the dealers. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't really it sounds much more fun. Any other, any other anything, but it has worked really well on radio, and everybody's really open to meeting me and letting me in on their little. So you're little, thanks for being on our little show. Yeah. So so if you're, you're, you're goal little, is, Olivia, your goal Olivia, your goal is to be on the radio? It is. Guess what? You're on the radio. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me cry again. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I love Just, you. Oh my god, you have so much passion for this right now. It's so much energy. You. Take one deep breath though for me. Now how old are you? How Seventeen. Old? Now you're too old to enter radio. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're a has been. No, okay, I'm fifty four years old. I'm still doing it. They should fire me. I'm way too old for this. I'm here, you know, I'm here ready to take your job. I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how many times have I said, fine, you can have it? Yeah, yeah. don't say it too many times. It is. It All right, well, what, can we, what can we do to, uh, okay, you still live in Dallas? I do. Oh, we own KISS. We own some stations there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll get you on there. Who have you gone to see? Like, oh, another iHeart uh, people. Um, Other cities. I, yeah. I know Billy the Kid in Dallas. Oh, we love Billy. Yeah, he's the best. Billy's heart. awesome. Um, I'm, who else do I know? I know Toby Knapp in D.C. Great guy. I'm totally blanking. Um, Did you meet the Bobby Bones yet? No, not yet. I'm hoping yeah. I'll get to see him at the iHeart Awards. I'm, I'm going to that. He so. won Dancing with the Stars. He's not that yes. approachable. How about the Big Craddock Morning Show? I do. I know all of them. Yeah, yeah they're great. See, that's the thing. I love, I love that. Because I'm telling you, there was a time in my life I was just like Olivia. As a matter of fact, they called me Olivia, which was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I used to just, I lived, breathed, I had to be in it. Yeah. And now, every morning at 10 o'clock when the show's over, pff, I walk home and don't even think about it. <laughs> but it's good. I love meeting you. This is great. Thank you so much. Here, have a seat. Just relax. Okay. That's all I can right there. Can Aww. I ask Olivia one question? Yeah, uh, questions for Olivia. Question yeah. for you, Olivia. Um, so, so many people are curious about radio, so it's awesome that you're actually getting to see it. Has anything surprised you? Um, I am kind of shocked at how much behind the scenes production goes into everything. Okay. I wasn't, because I've sit, sat in on a lot of radio shows and just watching everybody do their whole production of everything from behind the scenes. Like, it's so crazy that it goes from that to just, like, what you hear on air. That's a huge compliment as someone for the production team. I love that answer. There you go, <laughs> there, you go. There, you, there you go, Sam. All right, girl. Any more questions for Olivia? The floor is open. Yes, Garrett. Yes, what would you say to kids that are just as passionate about you that are unsure about doing what you're doing now? Um, I say go for it, because if you don't go for it, you can't make it happen. If you just sit around, like you said, and just, you're like, oh, I, well, you know, might want to work in radio. It's like, you have to go for it and see if that's actually what you want to do. And then, you know, when you realize that, then you can maybe not be as crazy as me, but. <laughs> yeah, let's get sad. You know. Ready to get kind of sad? Are you ready for your the first time you're going to get fired from radio? Because you, you, I, you, you get fired. No, probably <laughs> not. But yeah, yeah, I'll probably cry then too. He's like, because you get fired. Watch this. Who should we fire? I want you to see what it's like. Oh, um, scary! What are you looking at me for? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And, uh, you can come in anytime you want. But, you know. Don't tell me that. I'll be back next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to cry. Every well, time. you gotta go to school. Mm -hmm. Don't you go to school? Well, yeah, but. This would be more important. Are you missing school right now to be here? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, wow. I know, but, cool mom. But I think that's <laughs> important that she's that you're doing. Yeah. yeah. School schmool. I'm kidding. Well, everybody can go to school, but not everybody can be sitting in on this morning show right now. So that's know. a hell of an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this text. I love that Olivia's mom is so. Uh, so supportive. Yeah. So you're supporting your daughter's dream. Absolutely. Oh, come here, Mom. I want to talk to you. Oh, Mom. Now, what's in the box, Mom? What's in there? Oh, well, this is from Olivia. Olivia, so I'll let her explain it to you. <laughs> well, I didn't bake it. it. So, I don't know if you saw on Twitter, but a couple years ago, on my 16th birthday, I got a cake, and um, I was going to the Z100 Jingle Ball, and it said, Elvis, meet me in New York, because I've been trying to meet you. I think I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Do you? Okay. So, what's this cake? Yeah. So, this cake... <laughs> 
Is it, is it from Ben? You know, if the Fredo doesn't work, you could be a baker. Wait, what does it say? Thanks for meeting me in New York, Elvis. Oh. Oh. That's so sweet. I'm glad you like it. Really now, i got to talk to your mom for a second. Okay. Now, hold on. So you're hogging the mic. you got to let your mom talk. Okay. Now, mom. Um, they put me on air. First of all, insert clip here. Um, second of all, he loved the cake, and we took pictures with it, and they left me in the studio by myself so I could really just like shut down the show I mean like I you know uh, I'm not going to do that because that would be really I, I want to get invited back but um he put me on air and I was crying and I just got like 200 new Instagram followers and I'm like I'm, I'm sorry uh-huh like I opened my phone and I was like okay and so many people are commenting and like oh my god I heard you on the radio and like my family is texting me and they're like oh my god I heard you on the radio and my manager is gonna kill me if I don't call her so perhaps I should call her like soon but you know Hi, so we're at the Ryan Seacrest show, and um, I'm going to try and meet Ryan Seacrest. Stay tuned. Um, we, first of all, didn't meet Ryan Seacrest. Um, that's okay. There's always next time. It was a very successful trip either way, and corporate people are emailing me. And when corporate people email me, I get nervous, and then um, I want to start crying. So it's just been, like, a really eventful, like, cryful trip. That's normally how it goes in New York, so, like, time to come back, you know? Um, well, we got to the airport, and uh, we have first class, which is... I don't want to put my information like first class not normal first class in spirit so not really first class but like you know but like still have to pay for the food but like first class um it's like no seat in front of us and we have like normal average like room so that's really it's really fun and i have a window seat that's really good and fun and fresh i just wish it came with free food